This is one of my 2013 stick dulcimers. This is a short scale instrument in the key of D. Um, it has a 58 centimeter scale, but it's strung uh, DAD tuning. Uh, this particular model has zero coty as the back and sides and German spruce front. Uh, the case this year for custom models are rounded at the ends. Um, I use square ended ones for the standard models. in my hand, but this does mean I can let go and not have to worry about the instrument. Um, this is just an adapted mandolin strap. On this example I put a strap in here, and this goes to the tailpiece here. Tie the strap on here like an acoustic guitar strap. You don't need such a wide width, it's not a heavy instrument, but um, a mandolin strap should be fine. Um, I hope to be selling this on my website at some point, but at uh, some point soon. So this instrument is made from uh, Mexican Zeracote wood. Um, there's a bit of sap wood in the middle. This is two pieces of wood joined together. And the fretboard is also Mexican uh, Zeracote. The soundboard is German spruce. Um, we have American cherry for the neck, as usual. Um, and the strings, the strings we use is just a thicker set. So this is a thicker set than usual, um, so that we can play in this pitch. Normally this instrument will be tuned, with this sort of scale of 58 centimeters, it will be tuned, that's about 22 inches I think, that'll be tuned to a GDG. Uh, but with the thicker strings, it has just a slightly thicker feel about it. The, the strings have a thicker feel about them. <laughs> different approaches to the soundboard strutting uh, on these unfinished instruments. I'll show you what these sound like uh, another time, but this, this soundboard has been thickness to about 1.6 millimeters, um, but I've got three fan struts on this and two crossbars. Uh, on this instrument it's a 2.4 millimeter thick soundboard, so very different in terms of thickness, uh, and, and this only has two sound uh, bars on. This is pretty much my standard stick dulcimer soundboard. But what I'm doing on this one, I'm going to be in, uh, insetting a crossbar over here. So this gives it a bit of strength. Um, and what I'll probably do, I may uh, put a, a, to put a re reinforcement strip around the sound hole. And I think that's probably going to be enough. I probably won't put an extra cross brace here. This bit is pretty much supported by the, um, by the sides and the linings. Um, I don't think I need to put any cross, uh, a bra brace across here. But um, I, I will uh, just put a bit of reinforcement there to stiffen that up a little bit and I put a bar across. 